please be seated. Ready, Snatchies? Find the Nuggets. Good evening, family, faculty, and distinguished class of 2023. My name is Susie Carroll, President of the Unified School District Board of Education. On behalf of the Dirty High School faculty and staff, welcome to the commencement for the graduating class of 2023. and every one of you for you to that successfully complete this academic journey. The path of graduation has been filled with many challenges, 
but your determination and your hard work and perseverance have led you to this very moment. Today we celebrate your achievements and the limitless potential that lies ahead of you. As you embark on this next chapter of your life, I want to share with you some words of wisdom that I hope will motivate you and inspire you just a little bit. First, I want you to, want you to always remember that you are capable of achieving what you set your mind to. You have already accomplished so much by making it to this point. And that is a testament to your intelligence, your dedication, and your passion. Don't let anyone or anything hold you back from pursuing your dreams and never doubt your abilities. Secondly, I urge you to embrace failure as a necessary part of the learning process. Failure is not a setback, but rather an opportunity to grow, to learn, and to improve. When you encounter obstacles or setbacks, don't give up. Use these experiences as opportunities to reflect, to learn, and make adjustments. Failure is definitely not the end, but rather a stepping stone towards success. Thirdly, I want to encourage you to be kind, empathetic, and compassionate. We live in a world where the divisiveness, hatred, and intolerance are all too common. It's up to each and every one of us to make a positive impact by spreading love, kindness, and understanding. Take the time to listen to others, understand their perspectives, and treat them with respect and compassion. Finally, I'd like to emphasize the importance of hard work and dedication. Success is not handed us, handed to us on a silver platter. It's earned through hard work and determination and dedication. You may encounter setbacks and obstacles along the way, but don't give up. Keep pushing forward. Stay focused on your goals and not only study your passions and your dreams. Lastly, I want to encourage you to take risks and step outside of your comfort zone. Growth and personal development come from us from taking risks and pushing ourselves beyond our limits. Don't be afraid to try new things, take on challenges, and explore opportunities that may be outside your comfort zone. You never know what you're capable of doing until you try. In conclusion, I want to congratulate each and, one of, each and every one of you once again. Graduation is a major milestone, but it's only the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. I urge you to embrace this new chapter with open hearts and minds, and use this knowledge, skills, and experiences you've gained to make a positive impact in the world. Congratulations, and best of luck in your future endeavors. And now, please join me in welcoming our Dragon High School Jazz Band as they will perform Red Clay by Freddie Hubbard. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, faculty, and my fellow graduates. Today, we stand here at the end of a road paved with years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. It is an honor and a privilege to address you all today 
as a salutatorian of our graduating class. During my time at Georgia High School, I wasn't a perfect student. I failed in my fair share of tests, gotten grades I'm not proud of, and missed opportunities to be better. But it is because of the amazing people in my life that I was able to make it here today. I've been lucky enough to learn from some of the best teachers that I could possibly ask for. Our teachers put in countless hours into teaching their students. They create opportunities for the students to succeed even beyond high school and would not hesitate to go the extra mile in order to help their students learn. Your commitment to our growth and unwavering belief in our potential have given us the tools that we need to succeed long after we say our final goodbyes. So, thank you. I would also like to thank my friends and family for always being there to inspire me and pick me up when I need it. Uh, my parents were always there to support me and push me to do my best. But most importantly, they instilled in me the values that make me who I am. For everything and more, thank you. Tonight marks the end of a chapter in our lives. Congratulations. You all have made it here to this day, to this very moment. As we begin the next chapter in our lives, today we say our final goodbyes. Each one of us possesses unique talents, dreams, and aspirations. Whether we choose to pursue further education, enter the workforce, start a business, or dedicate ourselves to a cause, let us remember that the path to success is not always a linear one. It's okay to stumble, to face setbacks, and to deviate from the plan. It is in these moments that we discover more about ourselves and gain the strength to rise again. In closing, I want to congratulate each and every one of you for reaching this significant milestone. Let us go forth from this moment with the lessons we've learned, experiences we've gained, and the hopes and dreams of the people around us. Thank you, and congratulations, Class of 2023. Good evening, parents, friends, teachers, mentors, administrators, and of course, the graduating class of 2023. It is a privilege and an honor to be able to address you this evening. Tonight, we celebrate our triumphs, our achievements, our victories, both individually and as a school and the journey on which we have all embarked on towards our future destinations. Graduation marks the end of yet another extraordinary chapter in our lives. With this chapter closed, I am certain that many of us are anxious about starting the next one. We will all be going out into the world and each of us on a different path, following different dreams. Today is a testament of our resilience and an indication that we, are all, that we all have a great future to look forward to. I believe each and every one of you has the potential to accomplish great things. And with the love and support of our families, friends, and fellow graduates, our stories have just begun. As I reflect upon my last four years at Jordy High School, and before I throw my graduation cap into the air, I want to take a moment and acknowledge the support and guidance I received, especially from Mr. Ernest. Thank you for all your help and guidance as I navigated high school. And to Mr. Lynch, for his dedication and commitment to his students, his expectations and teaching styles have given me insight into what a college class looks like, and I couldn't have been more grateful. To my friends, Ximena, Lana, Maddie, and Rebecca, all who I've known since elementary, thank you for sharing this journey with me and making an amazing adventure. I'm blessed to call you my friends. To each and every member of my family for their encouragement and endless support, thank you all for being part of this journey. To my sisters, Jenny and Jessica, Thank you for being the greatest example of what I wish to be. Last but definitely not least, I want to thank my parents for the endless support and for always believing in me in every possible way. To my dad, thank you for all your advice, your love, and your willingness to always be there for me. Most importantly, to my mom, thank you for pushing me to be the best version of myself, always being there for me when I needed you the most, and seeing the greatest potential in me. Without you, I would not be standing here tonight delivering this speech. Each and every one of us has at least one person behind us who has helped us get across the stage. So let's go out there, try our best, and make them proud. Graduates of the class of 2023, here's to the memories of the past and to the prospects of a bright future. Here's to us. This is our night. Congratulations, class of 2023. We did it.
Right around that jockey. A miss. A third for the return. Miss. Chase at you. Good evening, parents, friends, teachers, mentors, administrators, and of course, my fellow graduates, class of 2023. I'm honored to be able to speak to you tonight. To my fellow graduates, today is one of our most remarkable turning points. Now, I'm not sure if you already know me, but I'm Teresa, and we, over the last four years here at Doherty High School, we have learned quite a lot together. We learned so much that the only scientific fact that stuck in our heads was that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. We were taught the infamous X is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of, you get the point, the painful quadratic formula. It was so painful that we started singing a children's parody of Pat Goes the Weasel to remember it. We learned how to break sleeping records by running all night our essays. And ultimately, everyone learned not to look down and smile at their lap during class because we'd get caught texting. And all of this knowledge will undoubtedly be valuable as we go forward. But I think the most important thing we have learned over the last four years is the journey to building relationships. Just over four years ago, we came to Dirty High, lost as if we were in a maze of Hogwarts, a bit of knowing no one and nothing. We scrambled across campus and pretended like we knew where we were going, trying to minimize our efforts and chances of getting caught by upperclassmen. We responded to any text from friends with LOL, like it was the coolest abbreviation of our generation. We enacted SpongeBob memes like self made comedians and bopped our heads to the beat of Billy Irish's bad guy as if we were hashtag on fire. Fast forward to sophomore year, we upgraded our LOLs with. LMOs. While we entered the foreign portal of distance learning, we still managed to survive the year by snacking on a bag of hot Cheetos in our PJs. At the same time, our teachers called for attendance and we figured if we pretended our cameras were broken, no one would know that we were a hot mess. We were absolute geniuses. In junior year, we reversed ourselves from what we thought was an elongated spring break. Many revamped their social skills while others adjusted their learning habits. Somehow, we came back with an entirely new urban dictionary of slang vocabulary like bath cat or saying period with a T to emphasize every spoken statement. Let's not forget the snaps for all moments in time, even when walking to the restroom, to get that unbreakable streak on Snapchat. Talk about the social media era. After three years of trial and error, it also finally hit that C's do not get degrees. But now, here we are, graduating high school. We thanked college admissions for going test optional. We launched the final fireworks during football games, made the last awkward freestyle dances at prom, crammed our final test of high school, and saved our memories with an embarrassing amount of B-reels. All done with a terrible case of senioritis. As Aristotle put it, the roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Next, I'd like to take a moment on behalf of myself and my fellow graduates to thank the people who brought us here. I'd like to thank all the teachers, mentors, and staff for their dedication to guiding our success. Your hard work is always appreciated. Thank you to all the math teachers for emphasizing how getting the right answer is absolutely meaningless if we do not know how we got there in the first place. Hence, some of the showing no work equals no credit policies. Thank you, Mr. Lynch, for helping us realize how a ginormous workload can help power up our brain cells. And thank you to Mr. Suki, who drilled it into my head that grades are not everything. That letter grade, which we often overthink, will never guarantee your success. But it's your courage, tenacity, leadership, and hard work that will. Lastly, I'd like to thank my parents for their constant support sacrifices and wise words that if I wanted to submit an assignment before 11.59 p.m., I couldn't spend all day scrolling to TikTok. So now we're high school graduates, and those four years turned into the last four months, weeks, days, and now our last hours of high school. We will soon be signing each other's yearbooks and giving our farewells. We'll do our best to stay in touch, but we'll be living our lives and doing our best. Life ahead may be hard, but it is through this journey that we learn to endure, observe, grow, and understand the world. As a final thought going forward, 
I'd like to leave you all with a quote from Stephen Colbert. He said, You are about to start the greatest improvisation of all. There's no script. No idea what's going to happen, often with the people and places you've never seen before. And you're not in control, so say yes. And if you're lucky, you'll find people who will say yes back. Thank you all, and congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you for those inspiring words. And now, I want like to call to the stage our budget chair for Debbie Hospital's graduating class of 2023. Good evening, everyone. Today, I'd like to say a few words about passion. Passion. If I had to pick one defining trait to best describe my character, it would be passion. I have passion for my city and my school. I have a passion for every activity I submerge myself in, from my academics, clubs, and especially sports. I have passion for the relationships I have, friendships, family, and community. Everything I touch is filled with unrelenting determination, drive, and above all else, passion. This is why I was able to achieve so much in my 13 years of school. I did things not because it was required, because I knew it would broaden my horizons and benefit me in the future. I took on responsibilities, not to have more pull on my resume, but because I felt a strong desire to be part of something bigger than myself, to be part of a community. And the sense of community and family that Dwighty has provided for me is something that I would cherish always and never forget. There is a famous phrase which I just recently discovered it originates from an African proverb, and it declares, it takes a village to raise a child, and this could not be any more accurate. There are many people who I want to thank for helping me on my journey. First and foremost, I want to thank my two supportive parents, mom and dad. You guys have supported me on every endeavor that I chose to pursue, as well as encouraged me to try new things. I'm so blessed that although our household was full of people with super busy, packed schedules, I knew that if I looked out into the crowd for games, I would see you guys there. Someone else who was also super important and influential to me is my older sister, Sarah. She has been there for me longer than I think people realize, and I needed her more than I thought I would. As the oldest, she was the one who showed me the ropes, first of all ropes, and then in high school. She's the person that I know I can always count on to be by my side. Honestly, I would not have survived without you, and I am so proud to call you my sister. Also, shout out to my little sister, Vicky. <laughs> I was always able to pay a part for you, trying to help you out this year, even though we only had one year together in high school. I know you will accomplish great things as well. And I should to be able to I don't even want to to watch me graduate. I love you so much. I want to thank my teachers, my counselor, and the staff has been so helpful and supportive to me, as well as the other students in school. I want to thank my coaches, my tennis coach, uh, Liz and Hernandez, for believing in me and pushing me to reach my goals that was won in 2021. And I would like to thank my Bible coach from this year for taking a chance on me, teaching me so much, as well as my basketball coach by now because he always gave me words of encouragement when my confidence was low. I thank the track coaches and especially Coach Shakan because as someone in track and basketball, she is someone who truly cares about her players and team, and I appreciate you so much for that. A shout out to all the people who are on my teams, whether that be tennis, basketball, volleyball, track, and even the girls for our football team, I'm so glad to have made those memories with y'all. And of course, I have to take my thankful besties for life, Jackie, Lana, Mena, and Maddie, because you guys have been with me since day one at Royal Oaks. I cannot ask for a better group of friends who are so good to me. I shout out to Matthias Bell up the Whistler. And last but certainly not least, I have to thank God for every blessing he has bestowed upon me. 
for blessing me with loving parents and siblings, and for all the support and opportunities that have come to be. It is honestly so surreal that I'm standing here in front of y'all today as valedictorian. When I first stepped on campus as a freshman, I did not think that I would be able to achieve this honor. I tried my best not to show it, but I was scared because it was the first time in a while that I had to be meeting so many new people from different schools. I mean, if you really think about it, I've been with the same people from my life from kindergarten to eighth grade. I haven't had the need to make friends for a long, long time. So I tell you guys, well, it's energies. You know who you are. You guys are literally a family for you. But I've also made many valuable friendships and connections along the way with the people that I've had the pleasure of meeting. I've been so fortunate to see the authenticity, goofiness, and kindness in each and every one of you, which I find to be something really beautiful. Um, in case you weren't already aware of this, I, I'm this class's president, and as class president, I would like to say one thing, and it is that I couldn't have asked for a better class to share my high school experience with. From the fundraisers, to rallies and spirit days, to prom, beach day, and especially winning class, I have witnessed this come together in order to achieve greatness. We showed everyone what we're capable of, and it truly paid off. Because of this passion and drive, I can confidently say that I know each and every one of you has the capacity to grasp the threshold of success. I will forever cherish the memories that I was honored to share with all of you guys. I have learned so much during my journey of education. I learned the importance of seizing the opportunities that are in front of you and how vital it is to get out of your comfort zone to try new things. Despite some uncertainties, I never lost sight of my goal and thus worked hard to achieve it. If I had let the fear of the unknown and the lack of familiarity stop me from achieving my goals, then I wouldn't have been as successful as I am now. So I encourage you all to do the same with whatever goals you aspire to achieve in life. Because with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. I mean, come on, I'm not excited to cry out loud. I think my advice would be a little worthwhile. All jokes, all jokes. The future is in your hands, so make sure you put in your absolute best effort into whatever path you take. We all have the potential to succeed with focus, dedication, and of course, a little bit of passion. Thank you, class of 2023, for a wonderful, memorable four years. We are the class of 2023.
okay, just like me. Okay. <laughs> Thank 
ਕਿ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਹੀਂ